Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while um, but I am finally back and I'm finally ready to start back here on my channel. I have been taking a lot of time to myself and working on a lot of my own stuff um, just because I am someone who is in the spiritual community it doesn't mean that I have my own shit that I'm going through <laughs> but I have been dealing with it in a really good way a really positive way I've been really understanding myself on a really deep level and I have this year has been the most transformational year for me ever <laughs> um, and I just want to kind of talk a little bit about some things that I like want to talk about this in a second and also water <laughs> um, so this water is a little different to normal tap water. I have invested in a machine that I am going to talk about um, in a future video, probably this week with a lady who is really, I just love her Instagram stories um, and she always keeps me motivated and I feel like I connect with her through my experience through drinking this water. Um, I just wanna say that First of all, what it is, it's basically um, an ionizing machine. Um, it basically structures the water. Um, she's going to talk about it better than I will. <laughs> um, but I've always wanted uh, water that was alkaline, not bottled water that says it's alkaline when it's really not. It's just they put in, I think it's baking soda, but it's basically chemicals to make the water alkaline. This machine. The way that it works, the um, sort of machine that it is, um, it basically just brings the water back to its structure uh, and puts hydrogen into the water basically. Um, and that hydrates me and I swear only for this, drinking this water, I literally have connected with water on a whole different level. I was always very connected to the earth. Um, and trees and plants and animals and everything and I was always had this fear of water and through my own inner work I've understood what that was and working with water the element I've really started to understand how powerful water can be because it's completely changed my life this year she I'm gonna say she because it is for me a feminine energy uh, she's shown me what I've been attached to um, and basically just really I'm seeing things from a whole different lens as people in the water wake community like to call it um, I'm just seeing things completely different and I am hydrated so I can literally make decisions through the water it's hard to explain but I will talk about that later on um, so yeah we will be talking about that in another video also because I love plants and I love plant medicine, I have started using Hape. Um, it's this little jar here. It's basically, okay, so the water basically got me off cigarettes, okay? So I was smoking cigarettes and I didn't want to give them up because I don't know what it was about tobacco, but when I would smoke a cigarette, I would always channel um, it w I think it was me time. I thought it was just the habit of smoking and being on my own and just I would always pick up messages and kind of channel from my higher self. So that was the attachment that I had to it, thinking that that was the only thing that I was giving my power to, which the water kind of shown me. Um, and then Hape came into my life. <laughs> and it's spelt R-A-P-E, like rape, <laughs> but it's pronounced Hape. Um, and if you're interested in this, um, I got this one from fourvisionsmarket.com. It's all the way from California. Um, and you basically, what you do is, it's not very pleasant, but it is the most grounding thing. Like, I didn't know what grounding was until this. No, well, I did. But this brings it to a whole different level for me. And tonight, I've used it for this video. Before this, I wasn't actually planning on doing a video. But... I did this tonight and I just knew. I was like, I'm ready. I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to come out. I'm ready to be myself again <laughs> and just let things flow. So it's not very pleasant. What you do is you 
watch a, a video that explains it better than me. But basically what it does, what you do, is you put a little bit of this in your hand, tiny little bit, and then you just get the self applicator. You can get someone to blow it into your nose as well. That's what shamans and other places, retreats and stuff will give it to you. Um, but I wanted to do it for myself. So this is a little self applicator. And basically what you do is you fill a little bit of this up and you put it up one side and basically like this. I didn't realize there's still some in it so that kind of burned a little bit. <laughs> basically what you do is you blow and it goes right up into your head space. And what it does is it goes um, into, it seeps through into your brain and decalcifies your pineal gland. I butchered that. Um, I'm not very good at explaining things, but good thing I can <laughs> channel for you all. <laughs> I'm not good at explaining this. But this has changed my everyday life. I do this every day, well, every evening. Um, but every Sunday I've started doing like a ritual where I'm like proper, like dedicating my time to the happy. Um, and this is from the tobacco plant. It's mixed with tobacco and this one is a um, rose. So it's rose, the flower rose and some tobacco. Um, and it's given me that kind of, well, first of all, it really grounds me. So I'm not really, I don't have that monkey mind. I'm like thinking about too many things. It properly just pick, makes me feel like I'm in my body. And then naturally I just kind of know what it was trying to tell me. Through like I don't have it I'm not thinking about loads of things. I just knew after I did it, I was like, I have to make a video. I have to start getting myself out there again and helping people understand themselves a little bit better. Understand through me understanding myself a little bit better, I want to try and speak out now because um this actually has really helped me balance out my masculine energy a little bit better. I still have a little bit of work to do, well, a good bit. But anyway. That is all I wanted to say on that. This is a little bit of a long intro, but I've been gone for a while, so I need to kind of just speak a little bit more. Um, also, I have been a little bit disconnected from tarot. Not so much tarot itself, but the tarot community, the spiritual tarot community. I just haven't really connected with it for a long time now. Um, and it's not that I don't like it or anything. It's just for a long time, I just felt disconnected and I didn't understand it. And I was like, why am I, what, what is this? But now I really do understand where, why this was happening to me. So I really don't resonate anymore with future predictions. So I will not be doing any future predictions on my channel because it's just my own belief. And I will make videos about this in the future. I just don't want to talk about it right now. I just feel like a lot of tarot readers use especially the whole twin flame thing which i really don't like the twin flame thing at all anymore um for me it's an illusion <laughs> and it's something that is just there to keep people in this mindset of waiting and i just i don't agree with it so that's one thing there's a lot of little things that i just don't really don't resonate with me anymore but it's not that i don't think that they're that I'm my way is any better this is just what I feel in my heart um so I will still be doing readings but I will only be doing readings on your energy currently right now um so this is what this video was going to be it's going to be like an energy update or just channeling through my guides picking up what I'm feeling through the cards well I'm only going to be using one deck <clears throat> but um yeah that is basically all of that and I will explain some other day maybe, but for right now I am just doing only, no for no future predictions, so no who is my one true love, no who is my twin flame, definitely no. Some people have been coming to me about twin flame readings and I, no, I'm not doing them because they don't resonate with me. So you can, if you do believe in it, that's fine, everyone can, we, we live in a dualistic world, so everyone can have their own beliefs, you don't have to choose mine um so yes and same goes for private readings a lot of i haven't been doing them really at all 
but people have been coming to me. Um, a lot of people have been wanting future prediction readings and I just kindly said, sorry, I am not doing them anymore. Um, but I have been doing readings with people on camera, on Zoom, and it's basically just like a chit chat. It's basically like a one-to-one -one where I am chatting to you, you tell me your problems, I see where I can see the blocks, I can see your energy now a lot clearer than I ever did before. I can see people's energy straight away and through video and communicating with you on Zoom, I can pick it up better than me pre-recording a tarot reading when I'm not really tuning in as much anymore. I used to, but not anymore. Um, we all change. So yeah, I will let you know when I start doing um, when I start doing them properly again, private readings, um, one-to-ones. Um, but for now, I'm not doing them. But if you really want to, you can um, email me and we can work something out. Because I am still going to want to read for people. I actually am reading for people, <laughs> a few, but I'm doing it for free. Um, so yeah, just message me. Maybe I'll, I have the time to do it for you as well. But that is all I have to say about that. I am using a deck that is a fortune telling deck, but I will be using it in the present timeline. So right now, here, right now. So I won't be channeling from like that. I will be channeling from just what the, what the image is and then I will pick up whatever I pick up. Don't know why I'm doing that, but I am. So let's just go with it. Um, so we have three groups and I have three crystals because I'm going to just pull one of these. Um, so this is group number one. So just choose one of the crystals. This is group number two. And this is group number three. All right, let me just gather myself. So I will be back in a minute and we will go with group number one. Okay, okay. Welcome, group number one. I'm going to take a drink first. Before we begin. So let's just see what we're working with here first. We're going to just do one card and then I'm going to open this. Ooh, intense. Okay. We have Thief. Okay. I'm picking up that you are the group that has went through something with someone not in regards that they actually stole something physically from you i am picking up more so that you have went through something that you are still attached to so for some of you this could be a breakup some of you this could be someone that you've lost um but there's a part of you that they stole okay there's a part of you that they have taken with them or that's how i'm feeling that you are feeling about this it's almost like you wish that you never acted a certain way with them because you were giving them your power. Now it's the opportunity for you to take your power back because right now what I'm seeing is that I'm seeing that you don't know what, you don't know that you're doing it, but you are wearing an invisibility cloak is what I'm seeing. It's almost like um, empaths do this a lot where they just don't want people to notice them. So what they do subconsciously, they basically go out with the intention that no one will bother them. And that is an actual um, thing that I used to do all the time. And this is what I'm seeing for you. It's like, also, I feel like you are a very attractive person and that you usually do grasp people's attention. And maybe in the past you had no problem with people noticing you but right now it's like you don't want anybody to notice you um and there is also a little bit of like you are trying to control who comes into your life a little bit too much this is what i'm seeing so you are really trying to just avoid anyone and anything that puts you back into that those memories of the person who treated you bad in the past okay um but you still i, I see that you still haven't let go or you still haven't detached from something and I feel that I feel like you feel you're not free okay and you're not sure what it is you feel like you're not free yet from something so for me the only way you're going to set yourself free is when you start speaking speaking out and right now there's a fear of speaking up for yourself and saying listen I don't agree with that so basically what I'm saying is you have to get over this fear it's not even a fear it's just like I can't be bothered but deep deep down it's coming it's going back to actually you are a little bit afraid of people just setting you off track again getting in your life and getting in your business and just setting you off track if you have a strong enough aura people won't affect you even though they do try and come in you're going to have a strong enough aura that they're just going to be sitting there on the outside just kind of looking in and not really knowing how to communicate with you anyway because you you don't you're not seeing the right perspective for me okay because what i'm seeing and what the right perspective is for me is that you just need to let go of this 
past, which I'm going to go into in a second. You need to let go of that and realize that that's not, you're not going to slip back into that old, those old lessons that you need to learn. I feel like you fully learned them. You just need to now let go of it. Okay. So understand that you're really, really attractive and you are going to meet people who vibrate on the same frequency as you now, but you're, you blocked everyone off because when you walk on the streets, you have this invisibility cloak. So no one can really notice you because you're not letting yourself be noticed. Um, okay. So honestly, all I feel like you need to do when someone approaches you and they're just not really vibing with you or they're trying to intimidate you or trigger you in some way, know, know that right now everybody is trying to trigger everyone and everyone is triggering everyone. I mean, it's just the energy right now is a little bit batshit crazy. Okay. Because I'm noticing it, right. It's happening for a while now and people are actually starting to wake up and people are actually starting to, you know, get a little bit more mellow, but I have a feeling that things are going to heighten again. And like we had a little test run there of energy being a little bit chaotic and that was our chance to ground ourselves. And we're going to have another one, another peak where we're going to be tested again. So just understand that. Um, but now you need to start learning that you need to speak your truth. You need to say what you feel and what is on your mind. Um, and I really, really feel that for you, it has a lot to do with thinking about what it is that they stole from you. What did all these people steal from you? Take your power back, okay? It could be several people. You could be tr you could be triggered because um, you feel like people are trying to take your power because you've, you've realized what it is that people do and to manipulate you. And you're like, nope, never again. I'm not letting anyone do that to me ever again. I'm gonna stop this right here, right now. This is um, not the right energy for you because I'm not sure, but there's a lot of other things has to go in because this is general reading, so it's not gonna resonate for everyone. But I'm seeing you twisting situations into it's not that you're twisting it it's just that you're making it more complicated than it needs to be so when you go out in public you need to be comfortable and you need to really acknowledge how you feel so if you are feeling uncomfortable sit with it and understand why are you feeling comfortable you you shouldn't be afraid to go out and engage with other people okay because you need to um i'm seeing that that's going to really help you with your healing um because you miss friends you miss going out with friends you miss people in general but because of everything that's kind of gone on right now in the world, you've really just gone hermit mode and you're kind of like here, being in hermit mode a little bit too much. Um, and some of you, that's not the case. Some of you, it's just like you really just can't be bothered with people. But I feel like there's a lot of energy out there that have the same thoughts as you, have the same beliefs as you, and they are just waiting for you to open up so that they can come in and just integrate with you and flow freely with you. Because right now, there's no flow. There's, there's a block, okay? And it's just like, I don't want people to just mess with my mojo, okay? Um, that is what I'm picking up. Um... Yeah, well, with the understanding what this thief has done, I do, for some of you, I feel like it has to do with, some of you, it's a family member or stuff that's went on in your past um, with family. Um, and some of you, it was a relationship. Some of you actually is someone that you broke up with and you still miss them deep down, even though they were probably a little bit narcissistic. You miss the company or you, you miss some element of that relationship and you need to really think about that. Like, why do you miss that? Because that's the key. That's going to answer the block, or that's going to answer your question, why you're blocked, blocking this. Um, okay? Um, so I hope that helped. Group number one. Um, I'm not sure how these styles, this style of reading is going to go for everyone, but this is the way I want to do it. So um, I'm going to do me. Um, so yeah, but if it did resonate with any of you, let me know down below. And I am excited to be back. So if this is your first time, actually, subscribe. And I will see you all in the future. Goodbye. Okay. Hello, group number two. So let's get ready. Um, already from the first pile, I'm feeling like this is all about love. Didn't really know what this video was going to be like, but it, it's, it seems like it's love. Let's see. Um, I'm all, I am picking up resistance. Um, that you're not noticing. Okay. Interesting. Community. Okay. See, I did pick up relationships, and now I've picked up community. <laughs> My higher self wants me to go here, so I will go here. Um, I was picking up that this has to do with um, some, okay, it's, it's not for everyone, some of you, it's to do with the whole spiritual community and believing certain things that you're being told from maybe other uh, YouTube tarot readers or whatever. Um, it could be twin flame kind of stuff 
or it could be a certain um, belief that you have. Because I feel that you're putting yourself into... Um, I feel like you're putting your... Oh, God, come on. In focus, please. I feel that you're putting yourself into a box, okay? And you don't really fit in. First of all, I never want to put myself in any boxes. <laughs> I'm always... The minute I was... In the whole gay scene, I was like, I don't fit in this. I don't, I don't resonate. I am not all about this, okay? Um, I don't like being put in a box. Vegan, veganism, I was like, nope, not doing that. No, I don't like to be put in any box. And I feel like you want to be in focus. <laughs> focus now, okay. I'm going to put the card down so it just stays in focus. I... I feel like you want to be a part of some sort of a community, okay? And that is great, okay? But you don't have to try so hard. Your your community will just come together, okay? You will naturally attract who you're meant to attract. So you will naturally attract in your soul tribe through Finding out who you really are. I feel like you have been distracting yourself a little bit too much with maybe tarot readings. Maybe you're reading a lot up on love or you're reading a lot of books about love. But this for me, it's someone who has went through a little bit of a heartache and they haven't fully healed from it. Um, It's like... I, I am feeling like there is almost this kind of a feeling like you're you're protecting yourself i feel like there is a little bit of oh, you i yeah I, I definitely feel like you're proper protecting in your heart <laughs> um but you're also a little bit sensitive here so even i don't know what it is maybe you don't want anyone touching you there <laughs> um that's not for everyone, obviously, but I was feeling that. I just feel like you're very, like, don't touch me kind of thing. But you want love. But you're not sure. But you're kind of like, mm, uh, mm. And it's like you want true love, okay? But you want it in such a specific way to happen. And you're putting it, you're putting all your eggs in one basket. And that is not what you should be doing. And I'll, This is the one message that I'm picking up. Hold on, I, I just want to hear what... I'm trying to hear. <laughs> if you keep having resistance, pay attention. I keep getting resistance. If you keep having the same type of resistance, then that is a sign that you're on the wrong path with that type of community or relationship. Or in general, that's that type of community that talks about relationships in that way. It's not for you. It doesn't mean that it's wrong. It doesn't mean anything, okay? It just means that it's not for you, okay? Why, why? In the kitchen, I should not record. I won't do this again because this just does this all the time. It's because there's so much spirit energy in this part of the house. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Where was I? Yeah, so just understand that, right, say you... you for example, you're going on dates just because people are saying, go on dates, okay? But you don't like dates. Dates are awkward. You don't have to go on dates because people say that you should get yourself out there, get yourself out there. You don't, you don't need to do that. You don't need to force yourself to do stuff. It should all come natural to you. You, you should um, listen to what you want to do. And not, not what the books are telling you, not what the tarot readings are telling you, not what your parents are telling you. What do you want? Because I see a lot of this has to do with prayer and going in here. This is the portal. This is the major portal. Everyone wants to connect all these gates and the galactics opening up when the real portal is right here. It's right there. Um, I'm actually picking this up that the, the heartache, the main 
place that you need to focus on is the heartache. You need to pray to whatever you pray for, <laughs> whatever your belief is. I just pray to my higher self. <laughs> um, but you need to just really go in here. And then you need to take action because I'm not seeing enough action in the sense of what you really want. You're doing action. You might be taking action in what people are telling you to do. But if it's not sitting right with you when you're doing it, then it's not right for you. If you keep meeting, for example, you'll know what it is for you. I'm just going to use the same thing that I'm being told to say. So the date thing. You go on dates and you keep meeting the same people and they're just like boring and it's not nice and it's like, oh, this is awkward. Da, da, da. Then that means that you shouldn't be doing dates. You maybe you for some of you, it actually means you're just going out having fun, hooking up. I don't think that's happening right now with the whole thing, pandemic. <laughs> but yeah, I see that you really just need to, you know, do what works for you. OK, but right now. It's all about healing and it's all about understanding what kind of community, what kind of people you want to be around. Also, I'm picking up that you think that the, I don't know if some of you have moved location and the people, the, the men or women in that area are just not right. Like no one's really that attractive or everyone's got the same mindset and like you're the only person that's spiritual and da 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 da. See, you're putting yourself in your own little box and you're not. We are all one. <laughs> we all have something to learn from each other. Um, and I'm not saying that everyone is like that, but it, some of your energy, some of you guys in this group, your energy is kind of like, mm, they don't know about this, 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 and this, and their belief is this, this, and this, and this. I feel like all of those things that you are pointing out and pointing fingers is really putting you off track of attracting true love okay that's just my honest opinion um what i'm seeing i'm also i'm also seeing that city life that whole scene of wanting that kind of dream city life is not for you what's for you is a little countryside escaping into nature that's what's for you that's when you're going to meet someone you could be just in a little village somewhere and this is very as I said I'm not doing future predictions but I see that for you I, I see that in your energy that that's what you truly desire so it's not about that's not about that you are going to manifest that it's up to you come on oh god high professional okay really stop okay thanks <laughs> Um, let me see, am I picking up anything? You're also close off to the people that are closest to you at the minute. And that's because you're so invested in some sort of, um, topic. Could be all about love it could be the uh the spiritual stuff um and right now i'm just really seeing that you really just need to be around people who aren't awake i don't normally say that but i do see that for you i see you being around people who aren't mean who aren't like bad people they just don't really see how you see the world or how you see relationships you're kind of past the point of you know getting into the same kind of relationship when it's not going to work out and da, da 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 and you know you know about like if you haven't healed you're going to attract the same person again da, 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 da. but how do you know that you're going to attract the same person if you don't let go okay because you're 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 grasping on to the things that you already know that you really really don't want you don't want you don't want but you this group it's like you're you have to go into a little bit of the past relationships that you've had and realize why you're still hurt by them that's what i'm picking up um 
but that's all I have for you group number two and that probably won't resonate for everyone and that's okay <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with that but anyone that that resonate with um leave a comment down below this was fun this was kind I don't know if that was a little bit too much to the point and a little harsh I don't know but that's what came through so uh yeah thank you so much for watching group number two and I will see you all in the future goodbye Okay, hello group number three. This might go out of focus. I'm sorry, <laughs> I won't record here again. Um, but yes, I, um, I don't know what I was going to say there, but let's get into it. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling warm. Warm energy. I'm feeling, oh, yes. Yes, concern. I feel like you guys are definitely light workers, healers, and some of you have went through so much over the years, and you're finally seeing the world for what you already always knew that it was, and you're also just understanding who I see a lot of observing a lot of healing within you are really really okay you guys are really strong you are here for a reason you know you you are the people who know you reincarnated reincarnated here for a reason for this time right now in life and you're starting to see where your life is going a lot clearer now it's like the fog has kind of gone away and you're no longer concerned for yourself you're concerned for others i feel like a lot of <clears throat> your past has been a, a lot to do with shit that you went through that's been really freaking hard and i resonate with this energy and it's like you thought like is it ever going to get easy? Is it just constantly healing, healing, healing? And it's just this thing and that thing. And oh my God, that's how it feels. But you've done the work. You've done so much work on yourself that it's gotten to the point now that you kind of can just sit back and relax. I feel like right now your purpose in life is to just observe, okay? You just need to take everything in and be that beacon of light for everyone else you don't need to force anyone to wake up you don't need to really do anything this is something that my spirit guides they're telling me again so this is something that my spirit guides had told me is like the work is done okay whatever you do right now could also to you okay but for the rest of the year my spirit guides told me and they're telling you the same There is a, a, like a splitting of energy. There is a splitting of 5D and there is a splitting of 3D, okay? If you're watching this, you're obviously splitting into that 5D um, reality. And that's manifesting perfectly. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to think about anything. You're manifesting 5D. So you don't need to really worry about how do I get to 5D consciousness, how do, whatever, all of that. It's already happening. You're already in it. You have... You can't fully be in it yet because we are still in that limbo -y bit. So you have one foot in 4D, you have one foot, foot in 5D. You already can see your future. You already know what you want. And you are no longer in the fear 3D reality that most people probably still kind of are. Um, you've taken your power back. You have a lot of concern for others that you care about, okay? I'm seeing that you will be someone who is somewhat of a counselor for people that's why i have this concern i also am picking up here that maybe you're a little bit worried about a father figure in your life their health or something the way that this guy is covering his mouth i think you know you will pick up what i'm talking about there i don't want to say that on here because i just can't be bothered three three as well if you're seeing the number three three 
deja vu, I'm getting deja vu. You're seeing the number 33, that is also your own spirit guide trying to communicate with you that these three different consciousnesses, consciousnesses, so the 3D, the 4D, and the 5D, okay? You are kind of in jumping between all of them. So you're seeing the fear, and you are like, kind of like, ugh, I wish people would just wake up, and then you're jumping into the 4D, okay? And then you're kind of en envisioning the 5D, and you're also kind of already implementing different practices um, within that. Also, I'm getting the number three, as in like multiples, okay? So you are being rewarded in multiples. So whatever you think you want, or whatever you thought before that you wanted, know that this is going to, because I can see it in your energy, I can see that because you are able to pick up from these three different um, energies, 3D, 4D, and 5D, that you're being rewarded in different ways, ways that you wouldn't have expected it before. This has probably already been happening. You've already been really, really having strange mother trucking uh, coincidences, <laughs> synchronicities, and it's just been overwhelming in, in a sense. Um, and I also feel like you are having this almost bittersweet feeling of like, I've made it, I'm content with myself. It's like, oh, I, I literally feel like tingly. <laughs> I feel that you're having these moments a lot lately where you're just sitting maybe I'm seeing you in the shower. So I'm seeing a lot of you having a shower and just being like grateful for the feeling of the water on your back. I mean, you're so sensitive now. You are so grateful that you're able to taste all these amazing juicy fruits. I'm seeing, oh, mm, pineapple. Mm. I'm also blueberries, just juicy fruits. You're so, so engulfed in everything you're just like mm. and just know that for some time okay you are going to kind of almost like Pisces you might be a Pisces but like I'm seeing that fish kind of dipping into the unknown and coming out and kind of you're that transmuter okay you are kind of going in and having some compassion because you're concerned for people, okay? And you're kind of trying to guide them through, but you're also now able to understand how to take yourself out of the situation and be present again. You guys don't really have a lot that I have to say. Like, I don't really have a lot to say to you. You are who you are because of everything that you went through, okay? And it's, me and you are quite similar. I feel like we have a similar energy, just channeling this. Um, I also want to say that I'm picking up strongly. My guides are showing me something very interesting. Hold on. I'm seeing like an X axis and a Y axis. Hold on. Okay. Okay, it's going back to healing the heart. I literally see like a pillar of light. It's all, it's like your creativity. It's like I see a, like you are a vase, your body, your vessel is a vase. Sorry, vase, vase, and my accent. <laughs> I see you as like, this is like the top of the vase here, your head, and then your body. And you are really, I am seeing this light coming in. So I seen flowers a second ago. Okay, hold on. This is a message. A lot of you need to create. Okay, this is a very creative thing here that I'm picking up. I'm picking up that there's a light coming down. I did see flowers, so I seen blooming. So you've really created a whole different timeline for yourself and you already feel it. Okay, but what I'm seeing is you're channeling light straight from source okay in your 
harnessing it here. And I see you a lot sending that light through here, okay? Through this heart space, okay? So you're sending it out like that, which is kind of, I don't know why it's not what you're meant to be doing. I don't know. that. For me, I do that all the time, so that makes no sense. It's But they're showing me that you need to create something with your hands. I'm seeing something that you have to create. It um, has to do with ceramics, um, or it has to do with flowers, or some sort of... Maybe you like to paint vases and flowers, or... I'm not sure. But I am definitely hearing that you really you really need to just focus on what it is that you want to do and what it is that you love doing. What it is you like creating with your hands. Your hands are going to be the real thing that's going to heal everyone around you because um, these are... If anyone knows Reiki, we all, it's like you are using your heart space and channeling through there. So your hands are healing, okay? Um, but for me, I don't know what it is. You need to create something. It's, it could be writing or whatever it is. It's something you need to start using your hands, okay? Because I feel like a lot of you are kind of observing, sitting back. That's what we were talking about when you, and that's great. But my guides are showing me that you creating something with your hands is where you're needing to go because whatever that will be that will lead you into something new and you will keep going from there and then eventually you'll get to a point in your life where you've created so many things that have helped so many different people because of you you, you move quickly your mind moves quickly um but now it's taking action grabbing it by the balls okay <laughs> and sinking that energy down um Grounding yourself is a big one. Um, also, some of you have a birthday coming up. This is a really good time to celebrate and feel, observe. I'm seeing observe a birthday party and feel the energy of everyone. Feel it changing. Notice people have changed. Notice the people in your family, in your community. Notice how they are waking up. That is a good sign that you are already in that paradigm that we are all hoping, well, hoping, I don't like that word, we are going to be in. But that's just a little thing that I felt like I had to say. Um, anything else? Yeah, don't, don't focus too much on... The blocks what's blocking things within you okay so i feel like some of you may be a little bit worried about that it's almost like you don't you don't know if all of your chakras are activated or whatever um don't think of the the big picture just think on what it is that you are picking up on several certain days so maybe someday you have a headache you'll know that that's your third eye um little things like that okay um but yeah i hope this resonated for you guys um this is a different style of reading so i'm not sure if it resonate with everyone but that's okay um i i really enjoy i actually really enjoy doing these readings like this now and i'm so glad that i've taken the time to just sit back and figure things out for myself because i was so kind of confused and lost for a while but now i'm just like i found it Find what it is that I need to do um, and I didn't actually mention it in the intro but I am going to be doing more videos talking about spirituality and not all readings um, so I think you guys in this group would be looking forward to those videos um, but yeah that is all I have for you group number three group number three in the three 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 just puck that up there now. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in the future. Goodbye.